Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this really easy doll top. And you don't really need a pattern, but you got to kind of cut and make some measurements. So I just had a scrap piece of fabric that is 10, about 10 inches wide and about 8 inches uh, long. So kind of like a rectangle. So 8 by 10, yeah, yeah, about the size of a sheet of paper. So what you, I want you to do is you're going to fold down the top part by about maybe about an inch or maybe like a half an inch because this is going to be the casing for the ribbon that's going to go around the top part. Then, wait, let me see. I'm going to do one. And we're going to do the other. Let me go iron this so it'll make more sense. Okay, be right back. Okay, so remember you had your 8 by 10 uh, excuse me, your 10 by 8 inch rectangle. Then what I wanted you to do was to fold it in half, uh, come, not fold it in half, come down about an inch and then just stitch across there because you're going to make a seam. Um, oh, so yeah, that's that. Now, oh, you also, I'm sorry, you got to do the bottom part too. About another one inch seam from the bottom and you're going to stitch straight across okay then you want to fold the edges inwards like that iron it press it and then just take the top part and fold it in also about an inch so and then you're going to just put one little stitch there because you need this little casing opening to run your your ribbon through so, I hope you caught that part. If not, pause, rewind, and watch it again. So, I'm going to go stitch these two sections together and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what you're going to end up with. I stitched, remember you fold it, you stitch right across there. Measure down about two inches because that's where the doll's arms have to go through. And just a straight stitch straight down to this corner. And same thing on the other side. Okay. Yes, you're going to get these little extra flaps, but not, not much I can do about that. So, I wouldn't worry about it at all. So, you're just going to turn it inside out. And ta-da! We've made the cutest little no pattern doll halter top so i see i have a few little wayward strings everywhere so i'm just gonna snip that off anything that's hanging out and this because you don't need a pattern you're just gonna measure it out it comes out really really cute let me go get some string some ribbon and we're gonna put this on the doll Okay, ta-da, here we have it. Cutest little blouse ever. So what I did, I actually, I didn't have any ribbon, so I just had some white bias tape, and I just ran it through, threaded it through that little opening that we made, that you made. So now it's big enough, hopefully, just to slip the doll inside. And let me see. Eh, okay, you might have to go a couple. Of, nope, it'll fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide this up on the doll. I'm just a fan of not necessarily pulling doll clothes over the head of the doll, only because God, I really need to edit this part out. Okay. So, it slides on. You might have to do a little more than an inch, and I probably should have uh, put this on before I put her pants on. But, anywho. Yeah, it fits. Ta-da! Okay, straighten that back out. Pull this up to the top. Let's 
see what did I do oh okay we're gonna get this over and over 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 okay Okay, Ty freaking die. This is so cute. Let's see if I want to do it this way or this way. Okay. Gotta swing back a bit here, show you. Okay, so let me put the doll in the stand and show you what this looks like. This is the part. This particular top is just very flexible and creative. And we put her in the doll stand. Okay, boom. Okay, so let me see, that's not a good angle. Okay, we've got the doll. She's got the top on. It's fitting a little weird in the back because of the um the doll thing. But when you put this on, you can either tie it to the one side and make a bow. Or you can cut it on both sides and make a bow on each side. And I'm not really sure which I prefer. Gonna bring that down. Yeah. So that's it. How cute and adorable is that? Awesome sauce. And I had a little bit of fabric left over, so I made a hair bow for her. And, oops. All right. So I had a little extra fabric left over, so I made a hair bow. And this is how the little top came out. And I love that it has little flares. And, yes, this is actually two... Of those scarves that you can buy for like about a dollar at uh, pretty much any store and that's it that's her cute little totally handmade outfit I even made the socks from just cut a pair of socks in half and stitched up one side and she's all matching so that's it for now I hope you enjoyed uh, making this no pattern doll top easy peasy really cute and fun to do. So, oops. Thanks for watching. Bye.